Hi, I'm Casey Manser, the Executive Director of the Iowa Sids Foundation. Um, I'm excited to share some information with you about the Iowa Sids Foundation during this virtual edition of the North Liberty Library's Historic Storytime Expo. So we'll jump in and get started. The Iowa Sids Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit health organization that was founded by parents to provide emotional support to Sids and SUID families, to educate healthcare professionals and childcare providers on Sids and safe sleep practices, and to support medical research into unexpected sleep-related infant deaths. So in 1993, three parent support groups came together to form the Iowa SIDS Alliance. And then in 2004, we transitioned to the Iowa SIDS Foundation and are now a recognized 501c3 nonprofit health organization. So we serve families and professionals all across the state of Iowa, including all 99 counties. Um, and we are overseen by a volunteer board of directors, and one third of that board involves um, families, parents or grandparents of SIDS or SUID families. So a little bit about what SIDS is. Um, sudden infant death syndrome is the sudden and unexpected death of an apparently healthy infant under the age of one that remains unexplained even after an autopsy is complete, death scene investigation is complete, and a medical history is reviewed. Sudden unexpected infant death, or SUID, is a term that is used to describe any sudden and unexpected death, whether explained or not explained, such as SIDS, um, and this also occurs during infancy under the age of one, and SUID can have known or unknown causes as well. So some services that we provide for families across the state include a lot of grief resources. We provide grief packets to parents, grandparents, and children. And then we also provide support groups as needed throughout the Des Moines area. We provide a newsletter three times a year that connects families with different resources. We connect families with bereavement peer contacts to help them through their grief journeys. And then we also hold a grief seminar um, yearly, although this year it had to be canceled due to COVID. As far as education services that we provide for professionals, um, we can provide sleep, um, safe sleep training um, and different education presentations to parents or community groups um, or professionals throughout the community. We provide safe sleep posters and brochures that organizations can distribute um, in order to promote safe sleep practices and many different resources as well. So today I wanted to share with you some um, tips on risk reduction recommendations for safe sleep. So in your little swag bags, you'll all receive a brochure on safe sleep. And as you go through there, it talks about how to safely place babies to sleep on their backs. And I wanted to go through that a little more with you in this video. So at this time, it's important to know that SIDS cannot be predicted or 100% prevented. Um, the safe sleep recommendations that we promote are endorsed by the American Academy of Pediatrics, and these might help um, reduce the risk of SIDS and possibly prevent accidental sleep-related infant deaths. So the first big one is to always place baby to sleep on their back in a crib, um, and this is for all sleep, including naps. The next big one is do not let baby sleep with another person or on an adult bed, couch, or recliner, or any other adult sleep surface. Baby should be asleep on their back in their own crib. Be sure that you're using a safety approved crib that includes a firm mattress and a tight fitting sheet and that does not include any soft bedding or toys, blankets, or bumper pads. These should all be removed. It's important um, that we follow and promote the American Academy of Pediatrics recommendations that you should not smoke while pregnant or expose baby to secondhand smoke or thirdhand smoke. And thirdhand smoke is an example of that would be if your clothes um, smell like um, smoke because you have previously smoked or something like that. Breastfeeding is also a recommendation um, from the American Academy of Pediatrics um, and also pacifier use can be helpful. And it's important to provide um, supervised tummy time when a baby is awake to help them strengthen their muscles and to minimize the flat spots on their head. And also when babies are put to sleep, you can keep their room at a temperature that would be comfortable for a lightly clothed adult. And if you need to help the baby stay warm, you can add clothing as opposed to a blanket um, to keep them safe in their sleep environment. 
So if you have any questions about how to promote safe sleep or safe sleep questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'd be happy to connect you with many resources. You can reach us at info at iowasids.org or call us at any time at 515-965-7655. Thank you.